Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Before we get into it, it'd be massively appreciated if you went ahead and dropped a like on the video. Cheers. So Ranger's decision to release Ryan Kent from Ibrox this summer appears to be getting smarter by the week now, and his troubles at Fenerbahce have been highlighted once again after what he did recently. So after leaving Glasgow under Michael Bale, the ex-Ibrox winger joined the Turkish Giants as a free agent in the summer, and due to a lack of minutes it's not looked good since he arrived in Turkey. Ryan Kent has managed just 44 minutes of league action since playing 85 minutes in the opener of the campaign, with the majority of his game time coming in the Euro a conference league and with some of their top talent on international duty for their country. The October international break presented a real chance to impress his new boss. However, the winger's newest social media moves suggest that tensions may have already flared at his new club, and he may be calling it quits very soon. Ryan Kent's Instagram account appears to have been cleared of all postings about Fenerbahce, as well as unfollowing them in any mention of the club, with some pictures of his time at Ibrox remaining visible. The former high-profile Ibrox star certainly misses his time in Glasgow, but it certainly was his decision to call it quits having failed to sign or agree any contract extension. While of course it can be tough for a foreign player to adapt to a new league, new environment and new lifestyle, when they take the leap into a new challenge, Ken will be frustrated with how his career has continued over in Turkey. In terms of playing time, Ryan Kent has just managed 1.190 minutes, which does place him 17th in the squad for game time. It's believed that Ryan Kent was promised game time ahead of his move, but that promise hasn't been kept which means his frustrations are totally justified. So ibroxnews.co.uk have asked the question would some people take him back in Glasgow? And considering the failures of some of Michael Beale's signings, some fans would definitely jump at the chance of that, but any possibility of that happening is zero given the way his time at the club ended. But the latest episode in his Fenerbahce drama proves that the grass isn't always greener on the other side, and it appears that his career in Turkey may be finished already. So what do you guys think then? I do think it is quite sad to see, however like I did go on to say before, the grass isn't always greener on the other side. Obviously he did want to leave the club for whatever reason, and to be fair I'm not overly sure what that reason would be, as I don't think Turkey is an overly better place to apply your trade in football. I think we signed him as an ex-Liverpool player who we actually wanted in Glasgow at the time, and if we are honest about it, Fenerbahce did sign him as a free agent, who didn't have a loan period at the club like he did with us to prove his worth, so the only investment they have really put into him are wages which they would have spent anyway on another player. I honestly don't think he will stay in Turkey much longer, and I'm sure like Morelos for example he really does regret how he ended his career in Glasgow. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments, and subscribe for daily videos. Cheers.